As the figurehead of my most beloved drug addiction, it's no other than Ultria Pendragon, aka King Arthur. If history was depicted by a horny individual, in which we have Saber, 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 and Saber. Which, let's be honest here, is more or less where most of my income is sunk into. At least you're paying for what you get, rather than a digital gambling machine for a PNG. And new to the Saber roster is no other than the version that is legal to bang. When looking at Altria herself, the sculptors knew what they were doing. We old! As this rendition of Altria Pendragon has but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Zooming in on the face, it's basically perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. As the delicate but charismatic face was delivered onto us, especially with the eyes that while beautiful might have been imbued with high doses of Nihon magic. As they happen to be shrunk from the Saber iteration. Konnichiha. Wait. I don't have to do this, do I? This is in addition to the petite nose with no nostrils and a longer mouth compared to her predecessor, solidifying the truth that my queen is a mouth breather. But this isn't the only face available. <coughs> Chainsaw Man! Yes, there's also a battle cry face that is usually depicted when an Altria is pissed and is willing to step on others, something most of my voters will find pleasure in. Yes, mummy, step on me. Yes, yes, yes. And then there's a grinning face that portrays Altria Pendragon when she greets her subjects. Inside, deeply wants to be loved. Something most fate fans will fail to cheat as they're busy simping over a dead woman, a traumatized orphan, or enjoy suffer porn. I'm haunted by the queen that you should never have given me. We also can't forget about the crown as it represents the iteration of Altria's nature as the true king of England and perfectly blends with the head, especially its gold color scheme and a cross in the middle, signifying that Brits need, and I mean need, something to show off their respective class. You call people peasants. Now, for the main attraction that you degenerates have been waiting for. <laughs> Moving down, it is evident that the suit, while somewhat simple, abides by historical accuracy as the British weren't the most stylish during the medieval ages. But with a pint of Japanese magic like during the good old days of the Russo-Japanese War, we get the stylish uniform with the blue and gold robe suited for a king, but doesn't explain the lack of fabric at a particular spot. Medieval iron armor made for protecting her majesty, and the red cape symbolizing her majesty's allegiance to the throne. Wait, red, white, and blue. Uh, so many liberals! When viewing the arm, similar to the Saber version where the left arm is a gauntlet, each arm is different in sculpt. The right arm is skinny as it gets, as compared to certain armaments, it is proportionally incompatible with the rest of the body, especially when she has to wield this gal. And the gauntlet arm is well sculpted as it protects the arms while also aiding in blocking incoming strikes, or when fisting the enemies of Britain from French saints to illegal immigrants aiding in what will culminate in Brexit. Look at the legs, they stand on top of not only the men, but the women and children as well. In actuality, they're like those of animals, so the guys might as well slaughter the rest of the anime die roster like animals. This is supported by the fact that the muscle and fat composition are perfectly balanced, as all things should be, resulting in a healthy thigh. Or in layman's terms, <laughs> when discussing accessories, fake characters compared to other Figma contemporaries were given the VIP treatment as fake fans are a horny bunch and are willing to spend everything on literal PNGs. In doing so, when looking at what my queen comes with, Besides the faces previously mentioned, there's your hand. Besides your fists, gauntlets included, there's your semi-open hands, your full-on open hands, holding hands for holding Altria's weaponry, and an additional holding hand literally for the same purpose. And look at Altria's main gun. No, not that gun! It's, as the class states, a lance. If you're a casual anime watcher, as hardcore type moon fans call it by its official name. Mm -hmm. 
And by first impressions, Rongo Miniat is divided into two separate pieces, the actual lance and the handle. And by shoving the handle onto the holding hand and attaching the lance, you get the iconic image of, of Her Majesty. And look at Rongo Miniat, it is fantastic with the main part standing toe to toe with Ultra herself, alongside the fact that the jade paint job is splendidly implemented into the already complex sculpt where layer after layer are stacked on top of one another, culminating in this literal piece of but the handle, unlike the lance, is well well sculpted, is bland when it comes to paint job. But the overall product is top of the line but also perfectly balanced as it is light, easy to wield, and doesn't fall over to one side. Probably explaining why a 15 year old girl can easily wield such weapon as well. Besides Rongo Minia, there's an additional one only this time, it's hard. Just like the previous version, there's the actual lance and the handle, as the holy energy surrounds the unveiled lance portraying the actual of Rongo Miniad. And then there's her handle with a halo, which does add value compared to the previous handle and makes the overall lance probably the best effect accessory throughout the Figma release. As of yet, as the design is not only screen accurate and perfectly displays Her Majesty's might, but it's also easy to wield for Her Majesty and doesn't require an additional stand, which will make me want to return to this accessory and interchange between this and the ordinary version. When regarding Her Majesty's stature, as a brick, you expect her to be a midget, right? But that is not the case as the definitive Lion King, Ultria stands tall, standing at 14.5 centimeters or roughly 5.7 inches, which is tall for a female Figma figure. Here's Ultria next to Gunpla, Hayatoy's Kaiju, Star Wars Black Series, and fellow fake Figmas. Now, if you've seen my previous reviews, Figma figures were the goat of Ho's ability due to the various points of articulation and ball joints added to a single figure, a far cry to that of their American counterparts. So let's see this time if Figma can reclaim their previous glory to Altria Pendragon herself. Let's first remove the cape, and head movement is relatively free, shoulder spread is depressing. Neat elbow bend, hand movement is there, chest movement is, oh, skirt movement is fine, but nothing special to brag about. Leg spread is good. <laughs> well, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Decent knee bend, and feet movement is there, and of course, no toe bend. So, pose ability wise, Chainsaw Man reigns supreme. Now, wait just a moment, we have to talk about the DX set. Witnessing the box alone, it is clear that this is the biggest Figma set I have ever laid my hands on, and probably why the DX is priced this high. Then, what does this DX set contain to warrant such price? Now, while the horse might not appear impressive at first glance, she is more than meets the eye. Yes, it is a she, as there's no dick anywhere to suggest that this happens to be a male. As by just looking at the size, my girl here is huge and stands over 18 centimeters, resulting in this horse standing toe to toe with kaijus. In doing so, here's the horse next to Dumpla, kaijus, Sith Lords, a Brit and a Japanese. When zooming in on what this horse retains, you can clearly see that this horse is white, something that's a rarity in modern day Hollywood, which means it stands out and adheres to King Arthur's and her people's selective nature. It was Dean. He's on day release from jail working in haulage. His offense was importing drugs involving a lorry. God. They would rather a guy who like broke the law than get them get someone who can't speak English well. Self-reliant ourselves as a country, and actually self-reliance is something that we want to instill in offenders. Immigrant truck drivers? <laughs> no. That's the thing, Cocaine man. truck drivers? That's yeah. The thing. But in order to not get canceled, the horse was forced to cover her white nature through a covering up in horse armor, which makes it harder for the horse to move and more importantly, shit. But I, I can't 
denied that it does aid in the cool factor as we got by medieval standards. A tank that can stop over hostiles while being impervious to spears and arrows as the armor covers most of the vital areas in which unless you're a great shark who aims for the eyes and neck. Glaive for you. And the saddle is also superbly detailed as the actual saddle is simple. Lack of any paint blotches are an impressive feat onto itself. And this is not mentioning the splendid robes beneath the armor that retain the same color scheme as a rider, which any paint blemishes are non-existent. But this horse doesn't come alone as she comes with an extra saddle. But do not be fooled as the saddle has an extra peg attached in order to hold and stabilize Ultria when she's atop of her horse. But the saddle isn't exclusive to her majesty as any figure with a hole can be placed from great commanders, broken up couples, and... <laughs> But this horse isn't a statue as she's able to pull off a few poses herself, akin to a kaiju. Head movement is limited due to the restraints provided by the armor. While stiff, the legs do have decent range, back size included, knee movement is 90 degrees, decent feet movement, and tail movement does exist. Like I said, akin to a kaiju. So, what is there left to say? The consideration of Lancer Ultria Pendragon is another fantastic replication of the beloved character as it possesses a superb sculpt with no signs of any paint blotches, a diverse array of accessories that adds to the figure rather than being slapped on, and this is not mentioning the horse as it adds to Her Majesty's charismatic but simultaneously beautiful nature, making this a set I would highly recommend. But be warned, as I happen to be a fake fan, so my perspectives I might be a little biased. <laughs> With that said, I'm gonna give the Lancer iteration of Ultra Pendragon a ranking of an A.